Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Urania and I'm a certified life coach. In today's video, we are looking at things that you can do to rest in your femininity and use your feminine energy in your relationship and in the dating process. If you're interested in that, I would say keep on watching and let's get into today's video. The reason why you want to use more of your feminine energy in your relationship and while dating is that it creates more polarity. Polarity helps to create more attraction between the two people in the relationship. The more opposed the energy, so the masculine and the feminine, the more attraction there is. As a feminine woman, you want to take on the feminine energy role in the relationship. This leaves your partner with a chance in the space to take on the masculine role. And that can actually be quite challenging for us. Women in today's day and age are very successful when it comes to education and career. And in both of these areas, we use a lot of masculine energy to succeed. And what we see happening is that many women also use that masculine energy that they use in their career and in education in their romantic relationships because they think it will also make them successful there. And that is exactly the mistake because we need to use our feminine energy more in the relationship if we want our romantic relationships to be successful. And some of the masculine traits that we use in our career, in our education are being very goal-oriented being extremely focused. We are ready to take charge and take action and chase our goals. And these are great qualities that can bring us very far in certain areas of our lives, but they are not the best qualities for us to use when it comes to our romantic relationships. And that's why this video is focused on giving you different tips that can help you to rest in your femininity more. Let's start with point number one. Number one, have sexy energy. Our feminine side gives us access to our sexy, sensual energy. And you want to have that energy to keep things sexy, playful, juicy, and spicy. Yes, I said all of them in one sentence. So I'm going to give you some examples of things that you can do while you are dating and while you are in a relationship. Let's start off with dating. When it comes to the dating process, you want to keep things sexy and playful. So while you are in a dating process, you can use that sexy energy by being playful and you can be more playful by flirting. One way that you can do this is by staring into his eyes and making intense eye contact. Something else that you can do, and you don't want to do this all the time, just once in a while, is to look into his eyes and then you think about something naughty, but you don't share what you're thinking about with him. You can have a little smile, but what is happening in that moment is pure sensual and sexy energy, and he's going to feel it. He will feel that energy without you saying one word. I wanted to share these tips because I think there are many ways to have sexy energy with someone that you're dating without being intimate with that person. Now for the ladies in a relationship. How can you have that sexy energy when you are in a relationship? If you are in a long-term relationship, it might feel that that sexy energy and that fire is dying and you want to prevent that from happening. And you prevent that from happening by both people in the relationship putting in the work to keep that fire burning in alive. And from your side, what you can do as the woman is to put on some nice lingerie. It's nice and sexy for yourself and for your partner. You can also dance and give him a show. And there are many other things that you can do to spice up your relationship and to really bring back that sexy energy. If you feel that you can use more sexy energy in your relationship, I recommend that you take the time and research. Go to Google and find some things that you can do to bring that spicy and juiciness back in your relationship. Something else that you want to keep on doing when you are in a relationship, especially a long-term relationship, and I got this tip from my married friends, that is the following. You want to keep having date nights, just the two of you. Have that time together and spoil each other, have fun together, but have date nights, they are very important. So those were a couple of tips that can help you to have that sexy energy in your relationship. And with that, rest more into your feminine energy because our feminine energy is also our sensual and sexual energy. Tip number two, to connect more to your feminine energy in a relationship, connect to your feelings and emotions. 
our masculine energy is the doing energy and our feminine energy is the being energy. And that means that you learn to be present with what you are feeling. You are present in the here and now and you are connected to what you're feeling in the moment. And the thing is that most women are not really connected to their feelings and emotions because we are so much in our masculine energy throughout the day that doing energy, that it can be quite challenging for us to relax and truly feel what we are feeling, truly processing our emotions. And we have two extremes when it comes to this. On one side, we have the women that don't connect to their emotions at all. They suppress their emotions. They just ignore it. I mean, you can even call them a little bit of ice queens. They might say things such as emotions. No, we don't do that over here. We don't show emotions, we are completely unbothered. And the other extreme are women that are completely getting lost in their emotions. They are letting their emotion in the moment control their lives. And the interesting thing is that the women who are too much in their feelings and emotions and are not able to control it, they need a little bit more masculine energy to have more structure. When it comes to the women that are kind of the ice queens, they need more feminine energy to soften down and connect more to their feelings and emotions. And to help you connect more to your feminine side, I have my new online course. And this course is called Connect to Your Feminine Side. This course is focused on the internal part when it comes to becoming more feminine and connecting to your feminine energy. If you are interested in this course, I have a link in the description box. You can read more about it. And if you think this might be perfect for you, I highly recommend that you purchase it and follow the course. This is a very important one because you don't want to let yourself go, especially if you are in a long-term relationship. Put the time and effort into your appearance, not only for your partner, but mostly for yourself. Because the moment you're going to put the time in the way that you look and you're putting love towards yourself by improving your appearance, something amazing happens. You will start feeling more feminine, more sexy, more confident. And that is very beneficial to your relationship. And of course, you also do it for your partner. Men are very visual. They love beautiful women. So if you take the time to look even prettier than you already are, you enhance your natural beauty. It's good for yourself because you feel good and you're making your man feel even more attracted to you. And that is how you use your appearance to become more feminine in a relationship. Number four, be vulnerable with him. This point has to do with point number two, which is connecting to your emotion. By being more vulnerable, you are showing more of your softer side. You're showing vulnerability. And the issue is that for many women in today's day and age, being vulnerable is challenging. And it's challenging because it's scary. It's scary to tell another person that we feel sad, that we feel hurt, that we feel lonely, helpless, that we are angry. Expressing that, that actually requires a lot of strength. But being vulnerable in your relationship is one of the most effective ways to be more feminine in your relationship. Especially when you have difficulties doing this, I don't recommend that you do this early on in the dating process, when you don't even know the person. Take your time to get to know someone before you become very vulnerable with them. But when it comes to your relationship and you are not being vulnerable, I think it's something you need to work on because it's a way that you can connect even more with your partner by sharing with him what is going on inside of you. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? It is very important. And that was point number four, be more vulnerable. And ladies, now it's time for a quote. Successful relationships don't just happen out of nowhere. It takes time, commitment, faith, and two people who truly believe that they're meant to be together. Number five, practice receiving. Learn how you can receive from your partner without feeling that immediate need to do something for him in return. When he does something nice for you, it could be buying you flowers, or making you breakfast in bed. Receive it and thank him for it. Truly learn how to receive gracefully. And with that, rest in your femininity. By being grateful and receiving gracefully, you inspire your man to do even more for you. Number six, keep doing things that bring you joy. John Gray is the author of the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. 
and he says the following, women should be able to be happy on their own and then they find a man to make them happier. And this means that your man or the man that you're dating should not be the only source of your happiness. You need to have different things in your life that bring you joy and happiness. And you do this by keep exploring new things, learn new things, meet new people. I highly recommend that you have a hobby, preferably a feminine hobby, a creative hobby, because it helps you to tap into your feminine energy while doing something that you like. And that was point number six, doing things that bring you happiness and joy. Ladies, now I would love to hear from you. What is something that you will start doing in your relationship or in the dating process that can help you connect more to your feminine energy? Please share it with me in the comment section below. And if you're interested in my new online course called Connect to Your Feminine Side, the link to purchase the course is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you did not subscribe already. I'm going to wish you a lovely day and we will see each other in the next video. Same time, same channel. Bye ladies.